What's good, YouTube family, man? This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live, man. You know, the battle was just finished a couple of minutes ago. I said I'm going to make a review video. I never do these review videos. I did two of these today. One that's two minutes, but this one's going to be the full breakdown. Okay, Keith Sweat versus Bobby Brown. Shout out to Apple Music. Shout out to Swiss Beat and Timberland. Shout out to everybody who came and supported us. Blessings to the beautiful people who donated a couple of minutes ago. Thank you very much. Touching the way you guys donate and show love and support. I got to be the host with the most for you guys. Keith Sweat and Bobby Brown right out the gate. Right out the gate. They gave us a legendary night. A night so legendary. Man. A night so legendary, bro. It brought a tear to my eye, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Bless on you always saying a tear to your eye. You emotional creature. I am an emotional creature, gang. I ain't too hood. I ain't too strong of a man to not be one with my essence, bro. Like, this was an amazing night. Right off the gate, they gave us hits after hits. There was never a down moment. Look, everybody's gonna say Ron Isley and Earth, Wind and & Fire was the best thing ever. If you ask everybody globally and the generation gaps between all the generations, I understand. But if you asking them 80s and 90 babies, whoo, them 2000 babies, whoo, Keith Sweat and Bobby Brown made the best verses ever. I, I think I gave that to Monica and Brandy. Shout out to the beautiful queens, but then Earth, Wind and Fire sweep through. That's the one where we had 81,000 people in the room. Now this one, the most we had in the room was like 35,000 people watching at once, but it still was amazing. You guys gotta remember, Switch Beat and Timberland, before I get with the bad, well, I'll talk about Switch Beat and Timberland later. Let me keep going off both artists. I don't wanna do my rant now in this portion of the video. Keep sweat. Back-to-back -back haymakers. He's sitting on that chair all smooth, got up when he needed to, sat when he needed to. Bobby Brown over there giving love to the bro, and Bobby came with the hits after hits. I know you guys want me to sit down and say who was better. I can't pick other than breaking down the actual battle because every time I kept thinking, oh man, Keith Sweat is in danger. Bobby bringing them new edition renditions. Whoo! New edition, rendition. You know what I mean? Auto focus going brazy because I'm moving everywhere. Let me try to remain calm. Let me remain calm. I'm hyped for this, man. I'm looking at the battle and I'm seeing the travesty is that they didn't do this on a Saturday because it was club vibes non-stop. Everyone and every single body couldn't pick a favorite. The minute you would have said Bobby Brown won, then Keith came with a banger. Then Bobby came back with another banger and all these songs we heard before, but the way they brought it, it's like you heard it for the first time again. It's like you felt alive again, that beautiful girlfriend you had, or if you're a girl, that boyfriend you had back in the days, or that guy you liked, or that girl you like, and you always wanted to talk to them. Now was the time where you had the confidence. Both them brothers built up the confidence for us, man, the aviance of the night. The confidence was the, bro, it was spectacular, bro. I didn't know what to do other than sit there and, and absorb all that moment of my childhood. The memories, the, the beautiful times that I remember during the hard days. Bro, they made it legendary status. I don't want to see no bloggers criticize that night. I know people are going to pick who won. I'm, I'm gonna get, In fact, let me tell you right now who won. Y'all probably thought it was going to be a two-hour video and trying to be all scientific. Look, you, in case you guys don't see my enthusiasm and my excitement, we won. That's all that matters. We won the night. Bobby Brown and Keith Sweat gave us the night, and we all won the night. Everything was spectacular, except for one thing that I want to get on a rant. Swiss Beats, I love you. Timberland, I love you. Apple Music, salute to you. I don't have a problem you guys selling a business brand because you're trying to build up wealth and fame, but I thought you guys had the, the power and the whiff for all to pick the dates or whatever. So if I find out you two were the ones who actually picked, well, it doesn't matter who picked the date. All I want to say is, why would you do two legends like that? No more surprise battles with legends like that. Legends like that, you should be promoting two to three weeks in advance for them or even longer. I need you guys to stop doing that. Maybe if you did it for Soldier Boy and Bow Wow, maybe a little bit, but you don't do that to two great legends like that. I really feel, honestly, it would have probably been two, three million people watching that event had you guys not made it a surprise battle. 
So many people when I cut on my live and we're doing a versus battle, a lot of people were like, we really doing a versus battle today? Oh, bless one, you lying. You probably playing old mixes. And I'm like, I'm not lying. You see the straps I got ready? I got ready for these events. Shout out to my beautiful wife. She's the beautiful queen who told me that, babe, the battle is coming today. She got me well prepared. But I shouldn't have to hear from my wife that a versus battle is coming to two legends that I grew up listening to. That's sad, man. You guys don't promote in a good way. I know the money is coming in fast, but I'm not criticizing them in a bad way, y'all. I'm just letting them know that we love y'all, but do better. If you knew better, you would do better. So I'm letting them know now. Nobody wants to sit and get surprised. That's like seeing Michael Jackson versus Prince on a Tuesday and you woke up like, huh, they battling today. Why not promote it? Just like club promotions, promote your battles. I'm tired of these surprise battles, these lack of promotion. You did the same thing to um, Red, Red Man and Method Man, the same thing to Ghostface and the Chef um, Quan. Like, you, you guys are wilding out here, man. I know you're feeling yourself right now, but don't forget what type of culture you guys came from. We always promoted. We always had the street teams putting up the flyers, getting the whole neighborhood hype and ready for this great battle or great promotion, great club, whatever it may be. Don't do this to legends anymore. Had it not been for men like me and other bloggers who put it out there to bat alive, and mostly my platform, I'm sorry, we were the first. I looked online. I was the first to do it like I'm always. We're always the first over here. I'm going to talk my ish, right? If, if I learned anything from Keith Sweat and, and Bobby Brown is have confidence in yourself and sometimes don't wait for people to give you your flowers. Show people you are the flower. And me being a flower, I'm the one who paved the way for all you bloggers to eat for this versus treatment. So I'm not saying bow down, but pay homage, man. All you bloggers is taking the waves now. But y'all still don't have that genese qua about yourselves. A lot of y'all so scared, you just, you just blog and live stream the event. You don't speak, you don't show your face because you're insecure. We don't need you for these events. We need bloggers like me who's gonna put on the whole environment. Look how I'm dressed, man. Dressed to impress. Some of you bloggers I've seen, you're just trying to get a check. And it's embarrassing. We're not gonna do that to legends. I loved every single aspect of the night. The chat room. Oh my gosh, the chat room, man. You guys are overwhelmingly beautiful people. That chat room was magnificent we probably had like zero point something percent of trolls but we always do good we don't attack people on my platform we don't dox people i guess a lot of weirdos it'd be grown men and women in their late 20s 30s 40s and 50s saying i dox people i would never do that so if anybody doxing anybody attacking any family or any creatures beautiful creatures in our chat we get rid of them educational purpose we don't block people or anything like that but <clears throat> my beautiful team of moderators get on their job. All the beautiful new guests I have, salute to you. And to my kings, much love to my kings, but it's these beautiful queens. These beautiful queens we've witnessed. The beautiful queens. The queens weren't playing, ladies and gentlemen. These beautiful ladies came in that room and had these dudes acting right. Thank you for that great event. Look, man, the events are beautiful. I'm getting, okay, YouTube just wrote me. Thank you, man. Okay, I see that already. Look, I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching. Look, I, YouTube just wrote me. I'm about to read a message from YouTube right quick. If you guys can see it, let me see if you guys can see it. Okay, the autofocus is zooming way too much. Look, man, I'm your God bless one, man. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. I had to be on my Sunday's best. I like I'm going back. Ooh, that boy looked like he going to prom again. You know what I mean? You see it, I know, you see it, boy, that prom night, bruh, ooh, who the lucky girl today, man, I already found my lucky girl, man, shout out to the beautiful wifey, man, look, man, y'all like, share, and subscribe, man, salute.